Hello friends and welcome to Forensic Extract and this is third video about metallic irritants and in which we will cover the metallic irritant or heavy metal that is mercury. So mercury is also known as quicksilver, it is also known as quicksilver and one famous example of mercury poisoning is the Minamata disaster. Minamata disease. So what was the Minamata disease? What happened in 1953? In 1953, there was a corporation uh, named as Chizo Corporation. Chizo Corporation. It was a chemical plant. Chizo Corporation was a chemical plant. They were using mercuric sulfate. Mercuric sulfate as a catalyst for conversion of acetylene conversion of acetylene into aldehyde so for conversion of acetylene into acetaldehyde they were using mercuric sulfate as catalyst so it was a catalyst during this process there is leakage of mercury and mostly that substance is methyl mercury methyl mercury and this leaked mercury has entered in the Minamata Bay and in the bay it was consumed by anaerobes, anaerobic bacteria and then finally these anaerobic bacteria are consumed by uh, the planktons and planktons are consumed by fish and fish is consumed by human being. So this is the process of final toxicity or the poisoning in human being. So the main compound of the mercury or main toxic salt of the mercury was methyl mercury that was the cause for the Minamata disease. So this is a famous example. So uh, what happened in Minamata? The leakage of mercury mostly methyl mercury it, into the Minamata Bay and finally it was consumed by anaerobic bacteria and planktons has uh, uh, had consumed anaerobic bacteria and these planktons are further consumed by the fish and fish is consumed by human being. So this is the process. So this is about mercury poisoning and in detailed discussion we will cover up. So keep on watching and please do subscribe and pl uh, press the bell icon. So Please keep on watching. So, mercury poisoning. So, as we have just discussed, that mercury is also known as quicksilver. So, first of all, we will cover the physical characteristics. Physical characteristics of mercury so mostly mercury is liquid liquid metal it's a liquid metal as you all know and it is bright silver in color bright silver in color and it is volatile at room temperature volatile at room temperature so it is a liquid metal that is bright silver in color and volatile at room temperature. Now the toxic salts of mercury. Toxic salts of mercury. So we will study toxic salts as inorganic and organic toxic salts of mercury. So first is organic toxic salts. So organic toxic salts of mercury are most poisonous. These are the salts which are most poisonous most poisonous toxic salts of mercury are organic salts for example methyl mercury methyl mercury dimethyl mercury thiomerzel thiomerzel this is the compound which is used in various vaccines because it is having antifungal and antiseptic activities so that's why it prevents deterioration of vaccines so that's why it is used 
in various vaccines or oh, this is the organic mercury compound now in organic compounds so in organic compounds are the mercuric chloride it is also known as corrosive sublimate corrosive sublimate and mercurous chloride that is also known as calomel calomel the name arrived from the calos calos means calos means fair and melas melas means black so the calomel is formed by converting a black powder into white so it was formed by converting a black powder into white so that's why it is known as calomel this is mercurous chloride now other inorganic compounds or the toxic salts of mercury are mercuric sulfate mercuric sulfide mercuric sulfide mercuric cyanide and mercury thiocyanate thio cyanide so this compound mercuric sulfide mercuric sulfide is also known as cinnabar cinnabar or sindur mercuric sulfide is also known as cinnabar and sindur and this mercury thiocyanate it is the compound which is used in firecrackers during Div diwali as most of the uh, us are familiar with this kind of uh, firecrackers which release a large winding stack large winding snake when it sets on fire so when thi uh, mercury thiocyanate sets on fire it releases a large winding snake and that is used during the occasion of diwali now the mechanism of action the mechanism of action of mercury so mechanism of action it binds with the sulfhydryl group it binds with the phosphoryl group it binds with the carboryl group and it binds with the amide group so it binds with the sulfhydryl group it binds with the phosphoryl group it binds with the carboxy group it binds with the amide group so it binds with all these groups and it inhibits the enzyme activities enzyme activities in various biological process now this is the first mechanism and the second mechanism is it uh, the mercury the metallic mercury or the other compound of mercury are having direct toxicity direct toxicity they are directly toxic to various visceral organs like the mercury compounds are responsible for proximal convoluted tubular necrosis so PCT necrosis is caused by mercury compounds so direct toxicity or the binding with these kind of groups this is the mechanism of action now the toxicity toxicity is depending on the toxokinetics toxokinetics uh, what is the process of absorption what is the process of distribution what is the process of elimination so elemental mercury element mental mercury is not absorbed from GIT if someone ingests uh, elemental mercury then it will not absorb from gastrointestinal tract but it is absorbed through inhalational route about 80% absorption is there through inhalational route and it crosses blood brain barrier as well as placenta so it crosses blood brain barrier and placenta then inorganic mercury compounds uh, are absorbed from GIT 
skin and mucosa so these are the compounds which are absorbed from GIT skin and mucosa now the organic mercury compounds are having only 50% about 50% absorption from GIT now something about distribution of mercury compounds so mercury compounds are widely distributed in central nervous system kidneys liver spleen and the some compounds are distributed in hair also so this is about distribution then finally elimination of mercury compounds so mercury compounds uh, the elemental and elemental and inorganic mercury compounds elemental and inorganic mercury compounds are completely eliminated within 30 to 60 days and organic mercury compounds takes about 70 days to eliminate completely from the body so this is about the toxokinetics of mercury now we are having fatal dose and fatal period of mercury in the compounds so fatal dose of mercury chloride is between 1 to 4 grams and fatal period of mercury chloride is between 3 to 5 days that is for acute poisoning now the sign and symptoms so we will discuss in detail the chronic mercury poisoning so chronic mercury poisoning or it is also known as hydra or hydrargyrism so chronic mercury poisoning is also known as hydrargyrism so first of all the general sign and symptoms general sign and symptoms are anemia then anorexia then gastrointestinal tract disturbances then there may be gum inflammation and gum bleeding there is formation of blue lines blue lines at the junction of gums and teeth so these are the general features of mercury poisoning now the characteristic features are the mercurial tremors mercurial tremors so classically these tremors are also known as Danbury tremors Danbury tremors and glass blowers shake glass blower shake or haters shake haters shake so initially these are of mild intensity there may be both intentional as well as static tremors but later on there is intense intense shaking so that there is problem in performing routine activities routine activities and this condition of intense tremors interfering with the routine activities is known as a concussion concussion mercurialis so this is known as concussion mercurialis this is the intense tremor phase now something the these tremors are related to alcohol that these are mostly seen in alcoholics a person is alcoholic then alcohol predisposes a person for these kind of tremors now these tremors are common in hate industries the person who are working in hate industries uh, during 19th century because in hate industries there was a use of mercury nitrate hate industry there was use of mercury nitrate and that mercury nitrate was used for conversion or the removal of fur fur from pelts so 
it was the compound which are used for removing of fur from pelts the mercury nitrate in hate industries so the famous beaver straw pipe cap beaver straw pipe cap used by abraham lincoln this is the beaver straw pipe cap it was also made by these haters so beaver straw pipe uh, pipe cap is the example uh, of these uh, uh, kind of hates so denbury denbury in usa was known as the hat making capital of world hat making capital of world during 19th century 19th century so the denbury was the capital of world hat making capital of world during 19th century and so the workers in those industries were suffering from intense tremors due to chronic mercury poisoning now the other features and so mercurial erythism mercurial erythism so mercurial erythism is consist of neuropsychiatric manifestations and gingival stromatitis plus tremors now in neuropsychiatric manifestations there may be manic depressive psychosis or person may be having delusions or hallucinations so person may be having manic depressive psychosis delusions and hallucinations in uh, mercurial erythism there is gingival stromatitis and tremors are seen in case of mercurial erythism now we are having mercurial lentis mercuria lentis so mercurial lentis is it is the eye changes eye changes due to deposition of mercury through cornea on the anterior lens capsule so what happens that mercury particles deposits in the anterior lens capsule through cornea so there is matte brown reflex during slit lab ophthalmological examination there is matte brown reflex due to deposition of mercury compounds or anterior lens capsule so this is known as mercurial lentis that can be seen due to use of a meiotic containing phenyl mercuric nitrate so meiotics which contains phenyl mercuric nitrate which are applied topically topically in eyes can lead to similar changes in the eyes and this condition is known as mercuria lentis medica mentosus so because it is due to use of a medicine which contains phenyl mercuric nitrate so that's what is known as mercuria lentis medica mentosus now the pink disease pink disease or the acrodynia or fears disease fears disease or calomel disease calomel disease so these are the name uh, uh, names of pink disease so what is pink disease mostly it is seen in children's mostly it is seen in children and there is painful there is painful parasthetic feeling of 
skin over hands and feet so there is painful swelling and peeling of skin or both the bilateral hand, uh, hands and feet the underlying mechanism is due to catecholamine excess excess of catecholamine because mercury inhibits mercury inhibits the degradation of catecholamine so that's why the catecholamine concentration increased and it is responsible for all these signs and symptoms of acrodynia so the pink disease is due to use of calomel calomel in teething powder teething powder is analgesic so that is used for relieving pain in children and it's having calomel mercurous chloride so it is the cause for pink disease now sometimes there may be a syndrome that is known as hunter russell syndrome this syndrome is basically due to methyl mercury methyl mercury it consists of peripheral neuropathy then ataxia and there may be blurring of vision and tunnel vision tunnel visions so peripheral neuropathy ataxia then blurring of vision and tunnel visions are the characteristic features of hunter russell syndrome it is also seen in case of chronic mercury poisoning now how to diagnose a case of mercury poisoning so we'll discuss about diagnosis how to diagnose a case of chronic mercury poisoning so first of all blood mercury level and urine mercury level or we can go for level in hair also or in chronic mercury poisoning sometimes we can go for mri mri shows atrophy of atrophy of cerebellar hemisphere hemi spheres and calcarine area calcarine area in cerebellum so that's why there is tunnel region in case of mercury poisoning so this is the finding of chronic mercury poisoning on magnetic resonance imaging mri now how to manage management of mercury poisoning so as we all know that first and foremost thing is removal of patient from further exposure removal of patient from further exposure to prevent further exposure then we can also try activated charcoal or whole bowel irrigation by using polyethylene glycol or we will go for chelating agents also so chelating agents of choice are the British antilevicide and DMSA British antilevicide and DMSA are the chelating agent of choice sometimes we can go for D-penicillamine also D-penicillamine also so this is something about the management of mercury poisoning now the post-mortem findings PM findings so lip mouth tongue and esophageal esophageal mucosa will be swollen swollen soft and friable and white then gastric mucosa gastric mucosa will be congested corroded and inflamed and intestine similarly intestine will be congested corroded and inflamed gastric mucosa and intestine 
Now subendocardial partial hemorrhages. Subendocardial partial hemorrhages are seen in case of chronic mercury poisoning. Chronic mercury poisoning. Now all viscera, visceral organs, whether it's liver, spleen, kidney, are markedly congested. Then specific finding in kidneys, there is poor cortico medullary demarcation and PCT necrosis. PCT necrosis is a histopathological finding, and there may be findings of nephritis. Nephritis. Then fatty changes may be seen in liver. Fatty changes will be present in liver. So these are the postmortem findings of chronic mercury poisoning. Now the medical legal importance of mercury poisoning. So medical legal importance. So as we all know that mercury Curic chloride, corrosive sublimate, is used for criminal abortion. So it is an agent which is used for criminal abortion. So we have to detect uh, or find out the substance during postmortem of a female if we are having suspicion of criminal abortion. Then in dentistry, dentistry. Various mercury compounds are used for making dental amalgam. Dental amalgams are made by using various mercury compounds. Then the mercury compounds are favorite of quacks because they relieve pain very fast. So that's why it is the uh, these are the compounds of choice. Uh, because they, uh, they are frequently prescribed by quacks then sometimes the poisoning can be accidental poisoning due to accidental breaking of thermometer in the mouth so thermometer and due to ingestion of disc batteries disc, disc battery ingestion so these are the circumstances of accidental poisoning so this is all about mercury poisoning in which we have discussed about minamata disaster and physical characteristics and something about the uh, the toxokinetics mechanism toxic salts of mercury and the sign and symptoms of chronic mercury poisoning hydrazurism that is uh, this is very important for uh, long question as well as short note in exam and for various mcqs so this is all about mercury poisoning and please do subscribe and please press the bell icon so thank you guys and keep on watching